Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Yeah, we're simul blasting on WLSAM 890 and the Loop 97.9, the last live show on the Loop, because tonight at midnight it switches over. The J- Jesus takes the wheel. <laughs> That's right. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Currently on the phone right now, we have... We have Mr. Jonathan Brandmeyer. Hey, Johnny B. What's up? Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, Jesus help us all. <laughs> the loop. I didn't even know the loop was still on the air. <laughs> yeah, well, it is until midnight. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, it's going at midnight. It's turning into a, a Christian station. Well, I've got to go back and just get those last few hours uh, from the from the loop in. I mean... Oh, what? I know, that's why I'm I having you on. It. And I got Buzzman ready to go, too, if that's cool. Buzzman! Hey, by the way, um, I was just doing the Buzz Kettleball workout. That is fantastic. Right? <laughs> Are you <laughs> doing it? What is it again? You lift your daughter up and down? I something. I'm not. Yeah, you, know, you know, he says that, but in fact, he had a kettlebell before I did and was giving Thank me you. advice on it. Really? Thank you, yes. but uh, my daughters are old, so it's really getting hard mm-hmm. for me to lift them up. Yeah, you got to go to the kettlebell then. And then this is just, I, by the way, this is the first time Buzz and I have talked. What Buzz talk? We do email, but talking in a oh. year, would you say? When was the last day we were on the air? Like, yeah, oh, yeah right. right. We talked. Really? It's unbelievable. So. Steve, look what you brought. like Dean and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Sinatra right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It's, actually, it's, a, it's a major coincidence because just before the phone rang, I finished installing a picture of Johnny B. As yeah. my cover photo on my new Facebook page. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice. Uh, there's a tie yeah. in there, which I won't, you know, I mean, needless to say, I was going, there's some humorous aspects to it. But. Mm-hmm. All right. You know, it's really weird. You know, but by the way, uh, but first of all, I can't tell you, literally, I am not joking, man. I am so excited to be talking to you guys right now. It's like, this is because, you know what, this, I think, what, what happened here with this thing being dumped or sold or whatever the hell happens these days. Yeah, sold. It, it just reminds me of what the hell we were doing. And I'll tell you something, Steve, just before you broke, you were telling that story about Andy Kaufman. Uh-huh. And, and I literally, honestly, I go, what the hell? Look what you were doing. Look what you were doing, man. You were in a box waiting for Andy Kaufman to take you out. I, know. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, we could sit here and we could do nonstop story after story after story because it doesn't happen anymore. No. It doesn't happen. No, it that, does not. I, I want to swear, but I'm not going to swear either. But that does not happen. And by the way, did you see the movie, uh, uh, the documentary with Jim Carrey about the making of Andy, mm-hmm. um, the Man on the Moon? Yeah. How unbelievable is that, yeah. dude? Jim's out there. Uh, he might be farther out there, or further out there than, uh, or and farther than uh, Andy and was. Buzz? <laughs> <laughs> and Buzz? Nobody's, nobody's further out than Buzz. Oh, my God. Once again, one of the most unique dudes on the radio. You're talking to Buzz right there. This is the guy. And you know why Buzz was unique to me and and to you? And I'm sure is because you just, Buzz didn't really care about radio. He just wanted to have a good time. We were kindred spirits. We just wanted to jack around. We didn't really care where it was going. And once you start caring where it was going, that's when it goes down the tubes. Yeah. Yeah, You start caring. I'm telling you. So when you don't give a rat's ass <laughs> what anyone thinks, when you just don't care. Yeah. I remember I remember going to Redimax, and uh, remember, Steve, the riff, it was like, you know, I was coming from Phoenix, and you were saying, hey, man, or you were in the paper, whatever it was, yeah. saying, you know, you're going to drive me out of town. All of a sudden, it was just like... You had a commercial thought, wow, with a pig I, in a Hawaiian shirt? Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, you got to go, oh, Mr. You D, I'm Mr. D. Yeah, right, you too, fat boy. I'm saying right now, I'm Mr. D. I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God. <laughs> That was so stupid. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, you know, it was uh, we. It was we were given our time, and we made the most of it. I think so. Yeah, that's a way to say it, right there. You didn't. You didn't waste time. And I just saw some uh, some footage of these archive videos, some of this stuff with Danny. We we bring out Danny. We bring out Kevin Matthews, and Kevin Matthews brings out a monkey. Yeah, <laughs> sure, of course. Couldn't follow it because you know, with Kevin, his concepts were all yeah. over the place. Like I never really knew what he was talking. We 
wait a minute. Am I talking to Jim Short? Yeah. Who, uh, who yeah. are who he, could, are he couldn't you? hang on to a concept for his life. I mean, he just, he could, just he didn't would be, to His him. mind worked so fast, he would be in the middle of a concept and skip to another concept. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I go like this. I go, uh, hey, so Kevin comes out with the monkey. I go, hey, look at this. Look, we're at the Chicago Theater, and it's, the crowd is going crazy. Here's Kevin and the monkey and Danny Badaducci. <laughs> and I go, Kevin brought Jim Shorts. <laughs> And no, Kevin brought Jim Shorts' baby. He goes, it's not, it's not Jim Shorts' baby. I go, what? He goes, it's not Jim Shorts' baby. It's Jim Shorts. <laughs> Kevin from the no. Another transcendent concept. <laughs> Kevin, not, yeah, Kevin. But wait, not... but, but, but wait, let's take it to the next level. This is what I'm talking about, this group of crazy that we were in. Okay, now he says, this is Jim Shorts. And then someone yells, I don't know who it was, probably someone from the crowd, kiss my monkey. And Danny Bonaducci proceeds to lip lock on a monkey for about what seemed to be 35 straight seconds. <laughs> and I just thought to myself, God, I love this gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and, it's crazy. Yeah, we had a lot of fun and, uh, you know, great listeners were the, the reason that we got go to right do there. that. I think you were talking about it on one of those news channels. I think you said we were kindred spirits. I, I, there's not a place where I go. Somebody goes, "Hey, how about those days, man? You, doll, the cabin, and Bob, and, and and Danny Benedici." But wait, throw the other one in. Throw the kicker of crazy in. Eddie Schwartz. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You got a guy, Kevin Matthews, doing Eddie better than Eddie, right. and he's doing it while we're. At, but Steve, do you remember being at my house? You, me, Kevin. And we started dialing Eddie. We would always say, let's jack with Eddie. Yeah, when he was on... Yeah, yeah. He was on yeah. overnight, so we'd call and... <laughs> and w did we disguise our voices? Or did we... were we ourselves? I can't remember. Well, first of all, you know, between you and me and Buzz, I'm... <laughs> you, the oh, one. yeah? <laughs> what about me? <laughs> you only have the one yeah, voice, that's, yeah. That's a standard character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's right on. Whatever it is, it's right on. <laughs> I think it was a dog, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? I, I remember we used to make, I mean, Gary and I used to make fun of Eddie all the time on WGN. And then yeah. Kev and Kevin, uh, as Kevin will do, he'll come in, take your concept, and then execute it better. <laughs> so you can't even claim it anymore. People go, yeah, right, sure, you did it before he did. Listen to how good he does it. But um, you know what it was? You just described the perfect. It was tag team. It yeah. was like the. Cra it was like, hey, those guys did that this morning. It was like what people would say to me is, it was a seamless broadcast. Yeah. You turn that station on, you knew you were going to have a good time. Something weird was going to happen. And it would just start in the morning, just keep on going. Just well, all the way through. And when you talk about calling Eddie overnight, yeah, yeah. we did do voices. And then uh, um, Before, he would say, I, I think that's those guys, I think it's guys from the station. And then I think it's the guys toilet. from the station! <laughs> so, wait, wait so the first day you... guys from the station. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, wait a minute, Buzz, was that Buzz doing it? No. I don't know who that was. was no, you. it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You've got two voices, John. Exactly. You do two imp impressions. Wow. So, all That's right, so, awesome. so I'm making, they, we, they hire Eddie Schwartz to do overnights. Larry Wirt does, right? And then I'm making uh, fun yeah. of Eddie. Gary and I are making fun of him in the afternoon. And Larry calls me and goes, what are you doing? I said, make a fun of Eddie Schwartz. <laughs> make a fun of Eddie Schwartz. And he goes, you can't do that anymore. I said, no, no, you don't get it. You, you should not. You can't hide. No, that's what we do. There's yeah. two shows wow. that do that. Yeah. We're going to keep doing wow. it. Why did you go that's hire funny. him? You should have left him where he was. I mean, with all due respect <laughs> to Eddie, it was funnier. First thing he did was break the toilet. Yeah. They had to rebuild the toilet for it. <laughs> they had to put a floor mount in. Yeah. They had a wall mounted one and it didn't it just it wasn't uh, rated for six hundred yeah. pounds. And we're supposed, you're uh, supposed to go out of the air and keep yeah. that a secret. Yeah. Right. Don't tell anybody. Uh, oh, okay. And I thought, you know, he would talc use talcum powder and uh, you know, 'cause uh, you know, if you get if you have a couple of dunlops, you know, they can you can get a little, it can get a little cheesy in there. And I thought that was cocaine. I was down there on the floor for <laughs> get all this cocaine into an envelope or something but it turned out it was talcum oh. powder talcum powder oh my god <laughs> oh my god yeah, and I, actually, I spent time searching for the memo that les elias issued when i first got there like 81 or two or something uh, -huh. uh warning who who was ever peeing 
in the plants uh, in the lobby had better Scott stop. Handles. Scott. <laughs> the funny thing to me was they couldn't pinpoint anybody. There were too many likely suspects. <laughs> hey, Steve, Steve, was yes, it sir. was it Sky? It was Sky. Yeah. <laughs> he could never make it. Of love. He could not make it all the way to the bathroom. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I what, can't believe that was Scott. But you know, you know, you think about that. Okay, let, let's go back to the beginning, because I think what's happened here, whoever allowed you to do this, whoever idea this is for you to end this, you know, ship, mm-hmm. you know, let it sink forever, uh-huh. I'll tell you that this is a great idea, because I can now go back to 1978. I'm dating my still wife, Lisa. We're dating, mm-hmm. and we went to Chicago Fest. I think it was, Steve, was it called Chicago Fest? Uh, the Blues Festival, 19, it was on the first Navy was, yeah. Uh, that Chicago was a- Fest first, yeah, yeah. Then it became the yeah, taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and we were walking through that fest, and I just kept hearing "Go ho, go ho, go ho," and I thought, what, what, "I go to Lisa, what, 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 what is that all about?" <laughs> goes, oh, this that guy in the radio, Steve Dahl is on the radio, and those are like his fans. I said, "You, you got to be kidding me!" I was in seventy eight. So I was in, hmm, I'm going to say Rockford or or Milwaukee, but, you know, back in the day, you didn't get to hear shows, but right. I heard just enough to know, this guy's, he's eating breakfast on the air. <laughs> he's eating, that guy's gotta well, eat. he's talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I just couldn't, and I just thought, I've never seen anything like that. It was like, go, go, and it was like, wow, that's yeah. pretty amazing. So I thought, man, you maybe you can do something with this medium. Maybe there is something here that's just, that you just, tapped into that I think kind of uh, brought that town together. I thought it was pretty interesting. Oh, well, thanks, really man. Interesting. You, know, you did a, a good job yourself. And I I think that might have been uh, Loop Fest back in the day. We uh, They had oh, a, couple there you of, go. a couple of Loop Fest on the pier. There was a lot of those black pier. t-shirts yeah. for $20. Yeah. Mm. I, that was the, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, do you guys want to wow. hang on and talk some more? Or do you want to go? What do you want to do? Yeah, I want to, I want to just do, say one thing. I want mm. to say one thing about some other people. Should I hang on? Yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, do, do what you have to do. We just got to stop, uh, you know. I still have to do what I'm told. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> to a certain You're extent. Steve Dahl. Yeah. Was, did you ever say? Did you ever say I'm Steve freaking Dahl? Uh, about ten times this week. Yeah, and, that's and what people, I used to say. And they just I'm shrug. Steve Dahl. They would just shrug. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> they just shrug their shoulders at me. All right, hang on. Okay. More Johnny okay, B bye. and Buzz Kilman in just a second. You're listening to the last live show on the Loop ever. It was fun while it lasted. Leaders of tomorrow, listen to the Steve Dahl podcast today. Check out a free sample and subscribe today. You leader, you at Dahl.com. All right, it's uh, Steve Dahl, it's Steve Dahl Show, uh, Doc Juan uh, with us. Doc, um, uh, Doc, Steve, Doc, and Brendan. Really, we do a show every afternoon on WLSAM 890. We're on there right now. On here right now, but we're also on the loop ninety seven nine today because it's gonna. It's, this is the day that they switch over at midnight. They're gonna switch over. They changed it. It was gonna be Saturday night, but now it's been moved up. Yeah, for legal reasons. I'm sure it's something I said. Yeah, we one, should, that, you know what? Get one less kudos, crazy. Stunt kudos in there. to me. Yeah, exactly. So so far we've had a really great show this afternoon. I think uh, it's oh, been it's fun for me anyway. Just talking. I don't mean like I did a great show. I mean like it's been fun talking to. All, all of the uh, different uh, Loop folks we were talking to. Kevin Matthews, Joe Walsh, used to fill in for uh, Gary and myself all the time. Sky Boy, Sky Daniels, yes. Mitch Michaels, Stan Lawrence, Johnny B, Buzz Kilman, and Bruce Wolf there. It's fantastic. As uh, Chat Chit Chat. And uh, coming up here in a couple of minutes, uh, we're going to talk to Danny Bonaducci. Well, well, well. Yeah, see what he's up to. Uh, let me just remind you of a couple of things. First off, David Hochberg is making this all possible today. The Hawk. David Hochberg at Pro Mortgage. David Hochberg at Team Hochberg. 312-751-1333 is a phone number there. PearlDavid.com is the website. Yep. P-E-R-L David.com. If you need a mortgage, if you need a refi, mm-hmm. a HELOC, you know, home equity, a line of credit. VA loan, debt consolidation, whatever you need. If it, if you need to deal with a bank, you need to call a hawk. Send the hawk in. Because he don't mess around. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can, he's got a show every Saturday from 10 to noon on WLS AM 890. The Loop, uh, all, you know, although it won't be broadcast over the airwaves anymore beginning at midnight, 
you will be able to listen to it on uh, if, if you have an HD radio on 101.1 HD2. And if you don't have an HD radio, uh, you won't understand what that means. But if you do, you will. Also, we're on W. We're on 94.7 HD2. The WLS AM feed is. Um, also, they will be streaming at WLUP.com. And if you would like to get, there's a, they're doing like a limited run of the classic black loop shirt. The yeah. Black shirt with the white logo. Right. Limited run. This is how you get one. 20 bucks. Special looper price. Going out of business. Yep. Special going out of business price. Everything must go. 20 bucks. While they last, you need to text the word shirt. S-H-I-R-T. To, I wonder how many times people have left that. Okay. Poop it's emoji. a statement. It's a statement, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know about a poop emoji. But <laughs> right. We're older. We don't think in emojis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. But you know, it's just to make a statement about mm-hmm. what's happening to their mm-hmm. station. Yeah. Text the word "shirt" to three one two nine seven nine to order three one two area code ninety seven nine nine seven nine. Yep. Twenty bucks. Score yourself a shirt. No shirt, Sherlock. I uh, I don't think I have a loop shirt. Got to get one, man. I don't think I ever had one. No. No, I don't. I mean, you know. We were the loop, so why would I, I wouldn't, you know, be weird wearing the shirt. Yeah. Plus, I could get you one for thirty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I need a double X if they okay. have any. If they could put one aside for me, I'd appreciate it. That would be uh that would be lovely. All right. Uh so we, we need to uh, get caught up here uh with our breaks and uh, then after we uh, we we do that, uh, when we come back on the other side here, we will uh, speak with uh Mr. Bonaducci and uh see what uh, what's going on with him. That's okay. always interesting. Yeah, we're oh. yeah, yeah. No, I, I like him. I like him. And uh, once again, uh, Johnny B, if you're listening, you need to get back into radio, bro. Yes, you can take it. Yeah, yeah. You just you know you just have to you know you just gotta pack, you, you gotta. Be, I'm concealed carry. That's how I get stuff done here. <laughs> concealed carry. You know. Yeah, yeah. They know it. It's very effective. They know it. They respond to it. Think about it. This is a simulcast of the Steve Dahl Show on WLSAM 890. The last live show on the loop. All right, son, the party's over. After this, it's, it's over. All over your face. Sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. Visit PERLDavid.com. Friday, September 21st, Loop presents Ozzy Osbourne. No more tours, too. Hey, yeah, Ozzy live at Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. Or info at WLSAM.com. More cowbell. Steve Dahl Show is being simulcasted right now on the Loop 97.9 along with our regular show on WLS AM 890. If you're just tuning into the Loop, number one, yes, I'm still alive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Number two, uh, we're doing a good show. I think you might want to check it out if you haven't uh, on WLS AM 890 every day. We don't do politics and all that. We just do try to be... Funny. funny. We try to be funny. Entertaining fellas. Yeah. I try to be funny. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what they're trying. I mean, I, sometimes I fail. But uh, also, the, the loop is going off the air at midnight tonight. So yeah, if you want to listen to that uh, bizarre transition, I don't know what they're going to play last. I recommended Highway to Hell. Yeah. There's so many options. But Jesus Takes the Wheel, that's a song too, uh, at, uh, at midnight tonight. And a lot of people have been calling. I, we've been talking with a lot of former uh, Loop uh, Air staff. And so I haven't had a chance to put uh, any listeners on, really, not too many of them anyway. Or, uh, I mean, we, but, but we've been looking at all the uh, tweets and uh, the texts and stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, there's no Loop without, uh, without the, the listeners. Yep. So they don't let you do all that stuff if nobody's listening. Exactly. Right. They, they, they go, hmm, let's do something else. <laughs> Yeah, there's been some great tweets like uh, from Larry Martinek at LD Mart. It's like a giant family reunion, forty years in the making. Thanks for the memories. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. I hope it sounds good. I, I'm uh, I'm honored to be in the position of of uh, you know presiding over the wake. Yep, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Danny Bonaducci's on the line. Hey, Danny Bonaducci. Hey, Steve Dahl. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, man. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm in Seattle, Washington, and I hear you say slow and dramatically, you know, there's no loop without, and I full on expected to hear Danny Bonaducci. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you went another way completely. Yeah, what did I do? Oh, listeners. <laughs> listeners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, they are kind of important in the scheme yeah, of things, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as it turns out. So are you, you're on, you, are you, you're still on the radio, right? 
Yeah, mornings uh, in Seattle. Been here about six or seven years now. Yeah, and uh, you, you must be. Seems like you must have straightened yourself out because I don't read any arrest reports about you anywhere in the papers or anything. So that's good. No, I've I've been good for this is this is a real long run for me. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I I can't say I've been in any real trouble since '92. Oh. But I was in minor trouble in all through the '90s and a little bit in the 2000s. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. That, that's yeah. that's uh, you know it's good for your image, it gives you your edge and whatnot. Uh, sobered up around seven years ago. Really, right on, man. Congrats. Me too. I well, I like uh, twenty three years ago for me, but yeah. Oh, believe me, I absolutely know the difference between us. I think, I think you like it more than I do. I don't care for it. Getting uh, stoned, getting no, high, being sober, being oh. sober. I oh. I want to drink so goddamn bad really? all the time. That's bad. I don't think that's good, man. I think you need to. You might want to get a sponsor or something. Because <laughs> I don't. I you never what? think about uh, it. I've got. I've got one lovely, beautiful wife uh, uh -huh. who looks after me. Right. I've got ex-wives that want just tons of money. Right. So basically that helps keep me, whether I like being sober and or not, my responsibility screams sobriety. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's like having a sponsor. Four, how many, how many ex-wives do you have? Ex-wives, two. Current wives, one. All right. That's like three sponsors then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. One active and two on the bench. <laughs> exactly, man. And, and probably your lawyer too. So, so can you can you believe the loop will be playing its last whatever the hell it plays? I was listening to you. Uh, I've listened to you a couple times. You are still just completely entertaining there, doll. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, you're welcome. And I'm listening, and you said they're going to have this really weird, awkward transition at midnight. What the hell are they going to do? I don't know what they're what they're going to do on the on the on the classic rock side. Right. Um, well, I actually don't know what they're going to do on either side, but, oh. uh, um, you know, earlier in the week, I mentioned that maybe Highway to Hell would be a good thing to play. Genius. Uh, so I think I, I, last time I checked, that's what they were going to do, but I don't really know. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it, it, it'll be uh, it'll it's going to be um, it's, it's a sad uh Sad moment for Chicago radio, I think. Yeah, my, my good friend and uh, uh, producer when I was working at the, at the Loop uh, has been in contact with me, and he sent me a picture that had completely escaped me of essentially my first crew, if you will, my, my first producer and sidekick and weather person. And I'm thinking, first of all, I have not improved in 30 years. Uh, that was just a good show, and it's a good town, and it was a good station, and I, for one, sir, will be sad to see it go. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. And uh, especially sad uh, for – we are we have four stations. We had four stations housed in this same studio complex, and the loop is one of the four. And so, you know, my, Tuesday, like, a bunch of people got whacked, man. Yeah. It was just like I came in at like noon and people were walking out with boxes, and uh, so I feel I feel bad for them. I, I feel bad for uh, you know for radio listeners because uh, it's yeah. just one less choice unless you want to listen to K K Love again. I think it should mm. be J Love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, J, the you know love uh, well, the J. Man. I've been through it myself very recently. Uh, three months ago, maybe less, maybe two months ago, I'm sitting there working for CBS Radio, uh -huh. and then I read in the paper that I now work for iHeartRadio, and we moved over to these new and lovely studios, just beautiful studios, but all, every, 60 people lost their jobs yeah. or something like that, or went to other stations. Uh, it, it's just radio is getting to be more and more of a rough business. Yeah, it's on a fixed income. Right. Radio, radio's exactly on a fixed true. income, so it's like, it's like radio's like a senior citizen now eating cat food, mm. just trying to stay alive. Yeah, well, you know, I'm 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 a couple of years away from being officially old. I'm 58 years old now. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm walking towards the cat food myself. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm here is I don't have a taste for cat food. Well, I'm, I'm, keep I'm, working, man. <laughs> I will, man, and uh, stay healthy and stay sober, bro. Because uh, you know, I love you, man, and uh, I miss you, and uh, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Well, thanks, and I don't know if your listeners remember. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Johnny B was wonderful and uh, Kevin was wonderful to me, but I remember everybody telling me about, oh, Steve Dahl, Steve Dahl. And I walked into the studio scared to death to do my first interview with you. And yeah, funny and interesting and all that, but you couldn't have been kinder to me. And I really appreciate it then and now. No, oh, thanks, man. Well, that's, uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, uh, I'm glad to hear that, that, 
That's a nice way to, to end it. So, All right, buddy. That's great. I'll talk to you soon. All right, man. Take care. Bye. Danny Bonaducci. This is the Steve Dahl Show. The last live show on the loop ever. All right, everybody. Stay right where you are. Heard weekday afternoons on WLS AM 890. The Steve Dahl Show. The simulcast is sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. The Loops, WLUP FM, Chicago, WKQX HD2, Chicago. The Loops.